और उधर का साउंड था नहीं तो वी वर ऑल लाइक लिटली सिंह क्या बोला स्टैच्यूएट गो एयरपोर्ट सिंह समथिंग इट फील्स अमेजिंग दैट पीपल हैव सो मच लव फॉर द फर्स्ट वन दैट दे आर आस्किंग फॉर अ सेकंड वन मडगांव वाज देयर समथिंग पावरफुल अबाउट दिस मडगांव एक्सप्रेस से जा रहे हैं What was your impact when you saw the film? I believe you you would have been 18, 19 ish. Yes, yes. Film. Did you I, get a haircut and something uh, like that? No, <laughs> maybe. You know, actually, you know what's interesting is that was the first time you saw a poster where the heroes were like not being heroes. Hmm. They were making those faces, and I remember that car window and three of them kind of going like that, and there was color. And Amir had done this really cool hairstyle after which we used to all carry gel bottles and everything, and pata pata. Age, you know, our barbers didn't know what we were talking about. Yeah. They were like, "Oh, aisa khada kar do bal." They were like, "Kaisa khada kar do? Cutu kaisa?" They were like, "Pata nahi, wo picture nahi dekha kya?" So, but it was uh, like trend setting in so many ways, and yeah. I remember we watched it in Chandan, and Chandan had become a carnival. because everybody had whistles hmm. and th- you couldn't hear dialogues and akshay had anyway spoken yeah, thoda yes, kam aur udhar ka sound tha nahi so we were all like literally saying kya bola it's like that so right but the fact was that everybody was had already decided that we love this film yeah. before we had watched it yeah. for the songs that had worked for the yeah. uh, the you know the one liners that had worked it was also dialogue which was written not as dialogue yeah. it was a conversation yeah. you know mard ban bhi a man और इवन हिम सिंग हेलो लेकिन मैं तू सुनो तो एंड इट वाज लाइक अरे ये मेरे साथ भी हुआ था सो इट वाज वेरी रिलेटेबल इन दोस वेज एंड देन द फैक्ट दैट यू वेंट टू गो एंड आई थिंक व्हाट वाज नाइस इज लाइक जनरली इफ यू से पेरिस गए थे तो आइफिल टावर के नीचे खड़े हो गए यू नो मुंबई गए थे तो वो वीटी स्टेशन ही हर पिक्चर में मुंबई वीटी स्टेशन उसके बाद कुछ नहीं मुंबई में विद विद दिस यू सॉ द फोर्ट यू सॉ द बीच यू सॉ देम काइंड ऑफ गो टू दीस प्लेसेस सो आई थिंक पीपल व्हेन दे वेंट टू गोवा Mm. they were looking for these spaces it wasn't exactly. like goa ja ke karna kya beech yeah. pe nahi jana yaar yeah wo fort pe bhi gaye wahan pe aisa moment create kiya wo idhar boat bhi hai usme bhi baith jate hai machhi pakadte hai all of those things right yeah. so it, it kind of gave you an insight in that so for me when i was writing this film i was very consciously aware that it is inspired for the love of goa and friendship somewhere from dilchata hmm. and just like us wanting to go to goa because hmm. it became so hot at that point of time hmm. the protagonist in my film also are some people who kind of dreamed about this because hmm. it's kind of the talk of the town it became cool suddenly yeah. you know yeah. people kids in school were like goa jate yaar kuch nahi pata but jate yeah yeah but can i mean could the film have been set anywhere else but Goa. No, because see, I was wondering. It, it has to be Goa in this case because a, it's a, s- a s- story of these boys who grew up in Bombay. So mm. for, it's like Vegas, right? If you're mm. in, if you live in LA, then Vegas mm. is the closest thing. This is the closest. It's the most relatable, and you don't have to spend time <coughs> to make people understand in a theater why is this place so important to them. It's an mm. easy sell. Mm. The boys they have this dream to you know ride jet skis and all that. Where is where do you do it? Mm. You do it in Goa. Now you can do it in Bombay, but right. back then you couldn't. You know, Farhan, but what's the key to make a good buddy film? What is the key? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, the characters have to work here. You know, mainly you have to invest in the people. Hmm. You know, and it's you have to like the friends. You have to see yourself or some. You know what I mean? Something has to like kind of. Uh, hmm. You have to be able to identify hmm. in some kind of way. You have to want to be a part of that group. Hmm. You know, so that's hmm. kind of what it is because. most of these films most of them mm. you know they are not so plot heavy right. you know what you what you really enjoy i mean of course there is a story and there's a, 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 a beginning middle and end but what you really enjoy is how they are dealing with things mm. you know and mm. so that i mean that's what you have to really really you have to make them very likable and very like kind of believable yeah do both of you remember the first time you went to goa with your friends what is that like yeah, yeah i remember it uh, like it was yesterday actually yeah um especially since we've been talking about goa yeah, so much <laughs> all the stories <laughs> yeah, everything there yeah i went for the first time i it was 1990 90 or 91 just hmm. somewhere there but that was the first trip that i made with like a huge group of friends hmm. we went by bus hmm. uh, down to goa which was very interesting hmm. um sitting at the back and being tossed about through the night was <laughs> was quite uh, a lot of fun but uh, yeah i remember it's it was an absolutely incredible time you just 
It's magical here, yeah, that place. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. For you, Kunal, do you remember your oh, first? I do. It was, uh, we'd gone with a college trip. Uh, so, we were in Mar Madgaon Express and I'm very thankful because that's, I mean, I've travelled a lot by trains all mm. my life, but Madgaon Express was just that one thing. And I remember there was something cool about the name itself. Mm. Madgao was there was something powerful about this. Madgao Express se ja rahe. Yeah. So you felt like ki main oh, bhai, ja, ja rahe main, <laughs> main cold drink bottle se nahi can se pi raha. It was that Madgao Express naam. Pahunchenge zarur. And then just the fun of like traveling with friends and going there and then again yeah. like we kind of snuck out because mm. it was a college trip. So you know the itinerary wasn't one that suited an 18 year old boy. Hmm. So we wanted to do beaches, shacks and you know eat the seafood. Yeah. So we kind of snuck out and did that. But I'm very happy that because it was a college trip, we ended up also seeing things that we may have not valued then, but now you do, like the cultural sites and yeah. you know a lot of temples, so great yeah. architecture sure. there yeah. and churches. Yeah. So so it was a it was a really wholesome trip, I must say, because we got yeah. the correct amount of masti and yeah. the correct amount of seeing the other side of Goa, which wasn't advertised. Farhan, how many times have you been told? I mean, do you ever keep account that why don't you go back and make a DCH tour? And it's is it a conversation that really bores you? No, it doesn't bore me. I mean, the, f the fact, I mean, whenever somebody asks me that, the first thing that I feel is, it feels amazing that people have so much love for the first one that they're asking for a second yeah. one. So I always appreciate that. So there's no denying, I, it can't bore me ever. Yeah. You know, it's like somebody praising your child, you never get bored yeah. of listening to it. Um, but I don't feel I need to do a Dil Chata too. You sure. know what I mean? I feel like that film has, it's done what it had to do. Yeah. Yeah. I said what I had to say. Yeah. You know, with that film. Now, anything on it will be like really just trying to like add something to a story yeah. that doesn't need yeah. any addition. And you know, for me, films like like a Zindagi Na Milegi Dobara, mm. uh, to a certain extent, even the first like Rock On, mm. you know, uh, Jile Zara. I mean, obviously that's still to be made, yeah. but like they for me occupy the same kind of emotional yeah. space in terms mm. of the stories that are being told that I experienced when I when I did Dil Chata, so I've never ever thought about going back to do a sequel. No.